Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Fortnite Victory Royale Series Deluxe Man Cakes, and it comes in this eco-friendly style packaging that looks awesome. On the back of the package shows the figure, all the accessories and stuff that you get with the guy, but let's get Man Cakes out of the package. Straight out of the package, Man Cakes comes with a mustached head equipped, and it looks awesome. He looks angry. He's got that rocking, awesome-looking stash, and then you got the translucent syrup just drizzling over those pancakes, and they did a really good job, really, really good job at turning this character into an action figure. The hat looks good. We got some syrup on the top of the hat. Just really, really well done. Now, if you were to just sort of pop this off... He's just, you know, a stack of flapjacks. But then we get an alternate head, and you got to be careful of these little gummy bits, the drips, because they sort of are bent in a little bit. There you go. But then you got this alternate head, which looks awesome. Still angry, no mustache, no hat, but it's translucent with a little bit of butter on top. Man Cakes comes with his jug of moonshine, but instead of moonshine, we get maple syrup. And it's really well done, a cool little accessory. Because I guess if your head's made of pancakes, you got to keep them moist with some syrup. The backpack that we get is a big old sack with the money symbol on it, but when you turn it over, it's uh, it's tore open. We got some flapjacks in there with syrup dripping over them, and uh, just a really, really nice looking backpack that you can place on the ground as long as you position it and stuff like that, so you can really use it as a prop versus just plugging it into his back. What makes Man Cake a deluxe figure is he comes with this giant cannon, and this thing is really well done. It's just plastic, there's no paint, but this thing can just, it rolls very, very nicely. Like you just pick that thing up. Very easy. You can articulate the cannon up and down. Got some cool details in the wheels. We got some like sculpt work and stuff on the back here, the rope. I mean, we got this little spinny thing here. And you sit there and you can unscrew it. It's actually like threaded like a screw. And this raises up and it prevents the cannon from, I guess... When it shoots from going down, I guess. I don't know what this is for or why they added that. But, I mean, it's a cool little feature. And this thing is just so freaking cool. It is a nice, nice size cannon. I mean, when I say it's a nice size cannon, here's Man Cake standing next to the bad boy. It is pretty massive. One of the guns we get with Man Cake is a scar. And this thing's painted really well. It's sculpted really well. It's less goofy than some of the other, you know, Fortnite weaponry that I've seen. So this would work with other figures that are in the 112 scale. My favorite weapon that Man Cake comes with, and I actually think this is his harvesting tool because he got the bayonet like bent down, almost like he could harvest with it. But I love this rifle. They did a really good job. We got texture in this like leather wrap. We got some silver paint. The syrup's painted here. They didn't paint the syrup there. I wish they would have just went with the translucent. Or, uh, yeah, I think the translucent would have looked better. This is sort of made out of like a gummier plastic. But then we get to the barrel. We got a stack of pancakes that the barrel goes into with the translucent syrup, the butter. It is just a really, really cool looking gun. And he holds it really well. You know you're not going to be a pancake cowboy without some revolvers. We got ourselves some nice six shooters that are done really, really well. Nicely sculpted, the plastic, even the handle is done like a waffle. So it definitely adds that characteristic to the weapon itself, just like the rifle. And these just these are awesome. You get a pair of these. Here we have an up close look at man cakes, and again the head sculpt is awesome. I love the texture that they did on this little scarf thing and this is removable pop the head off and uh, the scarf can be removed um the lines are pretty good sort of missed the mark i think right there sort of maybe not but uh it does have that green throughout his bandoliers of of, of butter is hilarious it's just sticks of butter on this guy but uh a lot of this is done in plastic he has very minimal paint, which I'm surprised. Like, there's obviously the paint or whatever for the lines here, but all this is plastic. Even his little, uh, I don't even know what you'd call this, his poncho, I guess, has nice texture sculpt work, but no paint to it. Even the plastic in the arms, I guess his elbows are painted. 
but still looking really nice. Got the texture going down to his little flaps and to his belt. Paint there. Just a really well done looking figure. Stitching in the, in the actual holsters for the revolvers. Not a fan of the two-tone plastic. I mean, you can't really see it as noticeable with your eyes, but of course on camera, certain things seem to pop. So you got a different plastic than the the actual pants. And what's crazy is like, you got this texture that's through these. These are chaps, but like they kept this textured in its same color. Like they should have just made this one color and they paint should have painted underneath. But still tons of work. Got the painted little spurs. Boots are done really well. I mean, overall, like this figure has tons of sculpt and detail and amazing figure. Diving into articulation, I swapped his head out because I wanted to show the range of his head because the mustache does hit this scarf part. So, you know, you can get some good, well, here, let me keep the scarf down, but you get lots of motion. It's basically like a double ball joint in a sense, but tons of motion out of this head sculpt which is awesome we get the arms that can go up hits up here so it does get stopped by the poncho bicep swivel we get the double jointed elbows that work really well wrist rotation wrist bend we do have an ab crunch but it gets blocked by a lot of this stuff so you just sort of have to move it around so i mean he can lean forward this much and then as for leaning back, you can lean back quite a bit. There's a lot of ball joint uh, going down in the waist here. So you can get him to move and go all different ways. Do the hula hoop, which is really good. Uh, he can do the full Van Dam. Got thigh cuts. He can do a freaking field goal kick. <laughs> and uh, double jointed knees work really well. Ankle bends. And then pivots. When it comes to articulation, this figure is on point. I got him holding up that rifle, looking down the, the well, there is no scope, so I guess he's looking down the barrel-ish, sort of, because he can't even see the iron sights. But still, it's just to get him positioned up, shooting the rifle. I did take the actual, you know, scarf part off, so he has his normal head on there. I have the uh, pistols are obviously in the holster, and then we got the backpack piece on. But, I mean, this figure is fun as hell. This figure has so many different posability options and display options with the alternate uh, pancake faces and all that type of stuff. It, it's it's awesome. And I did find a weird way to rig up the rifle so you could equip it onto them. Um, I actually used the backpack. So, yeah, it's a little floppy as you can see, but the backpack has a really long peg. So I sort of fit it through there. And then plugged it into his back, which it supported it, as you guys saw. But, I mean, the figure with the two six shooters, man, just, just is freaking awesome. Now it's time for some comparison. We got ourselves a Steel Brigade from Action Force. We even got the Scarab from Action Force. If he'll stand there, we, uh, he's wanting to lean forward. Come on, stand up there. There we go. Got those. Let's do a little bit of a smaller figure. We got ourselves Scarlet from that rough Snake Eyes film. She's definitely a lot smaller. And then let's go ahead and bust out. We got Marvel Legends Hammerhead. And let's do, let's do a Figma. Let's do an import. We got ourselves the Figma Guts right there. And uh, he doesn't look too bad next to him either. So scales pretty well with figures. When it comes to man cakes, this figure does not disappoint. It is worthy of the deluxe label that they slap on the box. And for the price, you get tons of accessories. You get the massive cannon, which attracted me to the figure when it was announced. And I, I'm not disappointed with this investment. You get tons of stuff. The sculpt work is throughout the whole figure, head to toe. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And if you're into weird, kooky, crazy looking characters, then definitely pick him up. If you're into Fortnite, I mean, he's worth picking up as well. But this figure definitely fits my random grouping of Fortnite characters that I'm building up. I'm going to use him as sort of like the whistler of the group, the wise old man. But this figure is phenomenal. I love it. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Fortnite Victory Royale Mancakes. 
If you guys are enjoying my content, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. And I also want you guys to hit the silver bell notification if you want to get alerts when I post up a new video. And make sure you guys go check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. The link is down below. There's a pre-order group down below as well. So you can join the group for free and just be in the know with a lot of the collectibles, especially a lot of the imports like your Figma, Mafex, SH Figure Arts. So definitely check that out. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.